What's up, everybody? It's Wendy's right here. Ah, yeah. So, so, snack. I had to go to Walmart. So, I don't know if you can really see me too well. Kind of have a, a glare. Yeah, it's got something small. Small fry. Oh, look, it fits in my cup holder. Nice. Uh, small vanilla frosty. Oh, yeah. We got a. Uh, we got two double stacks. This is the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger without lettuce and tomato because I hate lettuce and tomato. Hate anything on a burger but onions. I actually order it without onions because I don't like their onions. But with fresh chopped red onions on a you know a grilled burger uh, with ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, pickles, olives. But I don't like lettuce and tomato tomato I'll throw up if I eat it tomato sauce I could drink with a spoon out the jar so I don't get it and that's the, the second one fry in there all right I asked for a little barbecue their barbecue sucks in my opinion compared to when I mean compared to McDonald's I think Burger King sauces kind of suck too. Honestly, I think the only good sauce, if they are that really that good, are McDonald's. So, yeah, I decided to do some errands. So, figured I'd bring another uh, another video. You know. Hope everybody's doing well. That was weird. Yeah, here's a double stack. Got some, you know. Simple there. You know, we all know what the double stack looks like. I never use your order to drink. Especially from here because there's more than McDonald's where it's only a buck. Where I usually do order the drink. And usually on the way home, that's why I always park and I got the Frosty. Because I always have a tendency to just keep like slothing it in. And then I end up like it kind of binds up and I almost start choking as I'm driving down the side. of you know, I was driving down the road or even at home. So... I got the Frosty, just in case it'll melt down, it'll serve as a drink, plus I'm in the mood for ice cream, I was going to get some at the store, some Haagen-Dazs, but it's so cold, I'm not. I'm usually only in the mood for it when I go out in the summertime, I have to have it in my freezer, I love ice cream. Problem is... Is I love junk, junk food. I mean, I love to work out. I know all about health and how this will kill you and everything that's toxic in it. And the problem is I love it. And being a skinny guy and, you know, being able to use it in this sort of sense, it's hard, you know, it's hard not to, not to, uh, you know, get it, so to speak, you know. Well, I may have drooled there, I'm sorry. Like I did say in all the videos, I had a jaw problem, did have to have surgery, and the bottom had to, both jaws broke, bottom pulled forward, around the top pushed back, I was wired six weeks. This was in uh, October 30th, um, two, 2000, and uh, 
Yeah. So, everything is kind of different still, even though years have passed. My nerves came back. I was numb here, but I'm not really that numb anymore. That's great. Touching my lip as I just had to touch the card at Walmart. They must be cheap over there. They don't, they stop carrying the uh, sanitizing things. And I would always laugh and never use it and eat and be like, oh, I'm touching it and eating it. But then I read, son of a bitch, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Nah. Let's go to the bacon one. Nah, I love bacon. So needless to say, I researched it and they said there could be uh, E. coli on it. Nice bacon, a little burnt, but hell yeah. That's kind of how, that's how I like it. You know, burnt. Look at that, not too bad, huh? So, then I started getting around. So now I like to use the wipes. And the current Walmart that I go to hasn't had wipes for the past month. But, I'm not worried about it too much. Hope everybody's doing all right, <clears throat> you know. Any of you like Wendy's? Prefer McDonald's, Burger King? Unfortunately, in Connecticut, there's crap. You know, fast burgers or, I don't know, all that jack-in-the-box, you know, all that cool stuff that is more towards, I guess, I guess out west more so. I know some stuff's down south, Florida too, but out here in Connecticut, there's not too, too much. Yeah, see, I'm already starting to feel like I'm choking up a little bit. No, I'm all right now. I think talking is helping me salivate a little bit more, so I'm actually getting it down without feeling like I'm going to choke. That was close. Yeah, I mean, I feel it now. Rub see after I eat like that, kind of just clumps up. With the frosty, it'll uh, push it along. Yeah, so, well, glad everybody could just take a second and just uh, have some more of that Frosty. Should have got a drink. That's good. Yeah, it just feels like, you know, I don't know. No. Bread gives me, uh, kind of dries my mouth up. And then before I know it, it kind of clumps up and I'm like, oh man. I said, fries aren't bad this time, they're crunchy. They're actually crunchy, actually decent. I didn't like Wendy's going to the different style of fries, but then I don't always get them. I prefer McDonald's overall. Unless I'm in a restaurant. 
but uh, these uh, kill the craving and are pretty good. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, I gotta write some workouts at home, some uh, personal training stuff, a couple clients that I picked up. So I'm gonna work on some one's a fat loss and one's a muscle gain program. I'm gonna work on that. Diet, training, sets and reps. As I'm eating this, you know, I'm honest though. I let people know how I do. You know, I'm a depressed guy. Food makes a man happy and it makes a lot of other people happy too. And you know, I, uh, I just enjoy it. I'm not going to lie, you know, I, uh, yeah, we're going to try to get this other one down. Oh, nice pickle right there. Now, Wendy's, if it's a good pickle, they have the best fucking pickles, the best. Excuse me, but they do have the best pickles. <sighs> I normally eat when I drive home, but eating one hand on the wheel or one leg on the, on the wheel I swerved all over last week. I stopped at McDonald's after shopping and I was eating on the way home and I pulled out of McDonald's. I totally hopped the curb. Going down the road. I was like, ah, shit. I hope I didn't fuck up the alignment. But. <clears throat> There's, oh no, I thought there's somebody, well, you know, you get kind of weird, you're talking to yourself in the car, and I understand why the guys are looking, you know, people are looking around when they're doing this in the car. Hey, I'm not going to lie, usually when I eat and I park, I talk to myself, which I do, or... I'll put the mirror down and talk to myself. So this is kind of cool because I'm watching myself eat. Being a Gemini, two people, it's almost like I'm conversating with myself. Even though I'm conversating with you guys. It's a two for one special right here. This is actually kind of fun. I actually enjoy eating in front of the camera instead of talking about health or working out or any of that other. Because it's hard doing that, you know. Showing some food, showing some eating, and if anybody has any challenges on how many burgers I can eat or how many single McDonald's burgers I could eat, you know, if I can afford it, maybe I could do something, you know, we'll see, I'm getting full. But I also have a few pieces of bread. That's really it before I went shopping. <laughs> Didn't really want anything, but I figured it was some whole wheat bread. Just just sugar anyways, but it does have fiber in it, which I could use, so I did decide to take it. Or eat it, I should say. Now to where I live, out in the sticks, about a 20 minute ride home, 25 minute ride there and back, almost, almost 45 minutes. 
that's to the nearest Walmart. Nearest stop and shop is about another 10 minutes away from where I'm at. And the, uh, the nearest big Y is probably about 20, 25 for me as well. So it sucks because there's nothing around. Nothing. What? too bad I hate that but uh you know now I just found a hair I don't know if it's from can you I don't know if you'll be able to see it probably not no you won't be able to but I just found a hair I hope it's from my from me it's kind of interesting. <laughs> well, what I do in that situation is just take it out. And finish it up and hope for the best. I'm not a bacteria in this world anyways. The fuck's on a hair. Good stuff. Well, alright guys, it's almost been 17 minutes. I'm going to finish up, probably on the way home, and I hope to see you again. I'll see you later, guys. Take care.